Hi, I'm Nate Shaw, KC3 KPC. I want to show you how to modify a Bofang UV5R to work with an IRLP and All-Star node. And this modification is very simple and it will even give you the option to put the radio back in use if you decide to remove it from the node. You can unplug it from the wiring harness, which I'll have a wiring diagram for you in the end of the video. And you'll need a uh, number one Phillips head screwdriver, a T8 Torx driver, flathead screwdriver, a little uh, small one, and a pair of pliers. Um, that should be all it takes to get this apart. First thing you need to do is get the antenna off and just pull the knob off for the volume. Remove the battery. There's two Phillips head screws on the back. Yours might have the belt clip on there. You need to take them out. And then on the top, <clears throat> around the antenna and the sound uh, pot, you can take a pair of pliers and break this loose. There's a nut here that needs to be removed. I like using the screwdriver to spin it off. And you can use the same thing over here. And then use the Torx to remove the two screws here. Now be careful when you pull this cover off. There's a spring underneath the battery clip. Don't want to lose that. Okay, there's also two more torques at the bottom underneath the battery cover. And you can remove this screw for the lanyard which just gets in the way all the time anyway. It usually hurts my finger. All right, now all the uh, screws are removed. The fasteners around the antenna and the volume pot are removed. I always take a screwdriver to the, to the bottom, pry up. slide it out. Be careful of the speaker wires. And that's the radio disassembled. Next, there's a, uh, I'll get a close-up view, there's a, a resistor that needs to be removed here. I take the speaker wires off because I don't need the speakers on the node radio and then there's a jumper wire that's going to go from um, the second pin to the right on this chip and it goes up here to that contact. I'll get a better view for you. We need to remove the speaker wires.
All right, right here is the two speaker wires that we've removed. And then below that is a capacitor. Below that is the resistor that needs to be removed. And then once we get that done, we have to run a wire from this terminal all the way up to this pad. The last thing that we need to do before reassembly is to put heat shrink tubing over the speaker wires and then tuck the wires alongside the speaker. This is the door for the speaker wires, the 2.5 millimeter and 3.5 millimeter. We're just going to leave that out. We're not going to need that anymore. <clears throat> and the speaker wires, I just stuff them down so that they don't. Uh, make any contacts to anything With this modification, the volume knob still changes the volume. I found that this is the best position for the audio. I recommend putting the volume knob at this level and then putting RTV silicone around the knob so that it prevents the knob from being bumped. The other option is to remove the knob 